Hi there, this is Ranjit and in this uh, video we'll be doing the unboxing and have a first look at the Xiaomi Mi A1. And as you can see, this is a collaboration between Xiaomi and uh, Google. So I'm really excited to say that this does not run on Mi UI, but it runs on pure Android. And as you can see, some of the specs are here. And uh, this is a review unit, guys. Uh, but the thing is that to note, uh, it says that it's made here in India. And regarding the specs, this has the dual camera setup. And one is a wide one and another one is a telephoto one, like the iPhone 7 Plus or the OnePlus 5. And again, as you can see, I'm really excited about this. Pure Android, and they said that this will be getting Android updates and even Android O very soon. Runs on the Snapdragon 625 chipset and it's having a 5.5 inch screen. I'll talk about the other specs later on. So let's quickly open up the seal and let's have a look at this device. And regarding the pricing, uh, I don't know the exact pricing, but this is going to be very competitively priced in India. And uh, I'll have the link uh, in the description area so you can check out that for more details. And as you can see, this is going to be sold in only one variant. Uh, it comes with 4 gigabytes of RAM and 64 GB of internal storage. Uh, I have the gold color variant, uh, but it will also be sold in this black color. And later on, maybe it will come in this uh, rose gold color. So let's open this up now. So it has the me branding over here. And again, some seeds, so let me cut that. So here we have uh, the device itself. And uh, it is like this. Uh, so it's white here on the front and that gold color on the back. Let me take out the sticker. And uh, we'll come back to the handset a bit later. Let's see what else do we get in the box. So uh, this is a big box. That whole thing comes out. So let's see. So we have the USB to uh, USB Type-C cable. So good thing that we are getting USB Type-C. And what else? We get the SIM ejector tool over here. And uh, let me take out. So this is the power brick. And let me see the rating for this one. It says five volts at two amps. So not technically a fast charger, but the Snapdragon 625 chipset does support fast charging. So I will definitely test it with the fast charger that I have and see if it supports fast charging. And we have uh, some paperwork and stuff. So that's it. Uh, that's the two things that we get in the box. We don't get any earphones with the same. And uh, again, that uh, gives you basic information about the device i think that much and a warranty guide so let me keep these things to the side so this is the handset itself and let me take out this protective cover that we have so it's having a 5.5 inch uh, screen and uh, uh, from the back, actually, it resembles the OnePlus 5 or even you could say the iPhone uh, 7 uh, Plus. Not exactly, but yeah, it has that uh, certain uh, looks like that. Uh, but let me give you a physical overview. On the top, we have an IR blaster and secondary noise cancellation microphone. So I like the fact that still Xiaomi is retaining that IR blaster so you can control devices like televisions, etc. with that. Use it as a remote. Uh, power volume uh, rocker and again this back is metal as you can see so metallic body uh, they are giving on the bottom we have the speakers and usb type uh, and also we get a headphone jack thankfully and uh, in the specs uh, xiaomi was saying that they have a dedicated amplifier for the headphone jack so i'll definitely be testing that and this is the sim tray it's a dual sim uh, guide and a hybrid solution so as you can see you can put two nano sims or one nano sim and a micro sd card with this one thankfully this comes with 64 gb of internal storage uh, so let me uh, just try to boot this up for the first time gave me haptic feedback and uh, looks like this is the android one logo but we also getting the xiaomi logo here at the bottom and by the time it actually boots up and I set this up, let me give you a configuration overview. 
The Xiaomi Mi 1A is powered by the Snapdragon 625 chipset, which is an octa-core processor. It has the Adreno 506 GPU. It has a 5.5-inch 1080p screen uh, with 2.5D Gorilla Glass 3. It has 4GB of RAM, 64GB of internal storage. Moving to the camera, it has a dual 12-megapixel rear-facing camera. One is wide and the other is a telephoto. The wide is at 26mm and the telephoto is at 50mm. It also has the portrait mode. Moving to the front-facing camera, it has a 5-megapixel uh, shooter. It also has a dedicated headphone jack. Fingerprint scanner USB Type-C port and moving to the battery it has a 3080 mAh battery. So I've just finished uh, setting up this device and as you can see it already started downloading some updates and uh, as you can see it's downloading some Mi Store and some apps and already it has found an Android update also. So that's the beauty. It is like uh, it's uh, by uh, Google. So you will be getting all the Android updates and security updates directly from uh, Google. And as you can see, uh, this is stock Android that you're getting. So Google apps, no bloatware. Uh, the launcher is very similar to what we have got with the Pixel and uh, stuff as you can see. And uh, what else? Let's see what else is installed. Uh, we have this Mi Store and I believe the camera app is being customized by Xiaomi because of this 2x zoom lens but apart from that uh, this me store uh, link and the camera app it is almost stock Android interface that we are getting with this uh, device so let's look under the hood again it has found in security of quick toggles like we find on the stock Android devices now if you go to settings um, let's see the Android version it should be 7 point uh, yeah it's on the latest 7.1.2 Two, as uh, you can see and uh, uh, if we go to it's already having the August 1st security patch and no good out of the box and uh, Xiaomi was telling that this phone will be getting the Android O uh, update in the next couple of months itself so you don't have to worry about that let's look at the storage how much do we get out of that 64 so out of that 64 about 8.3 GB is used so uh, you roughly get about uh, 55 uh, GB of space that is available to you. So that's regarding that. And we have three physical buttons here at the bottom. Uh, this is home. This is for the multitasking. And this is back. They have a glow. Uh, as you can see, they have a glow when you touch it. It's light on this white color, but it has that backlighting for those buttons. Uh, so very clean interface that we are getting and on side uh, Google now and uh, it also has the Google Assistant out of the box. I didn't add my Google account uh, but if you do that you will also get the Google Assistant. So that's what we get. And another thing about this device is that uh, dual camera setup. Uh, one is a wide one as you can see and the second one is a telephoto that is 2x zoom. So let's quickly open up uh, that one also and uh, have a look. So this is the camera app that's I love this and as I told you this is having that uh, what do you say uh, Xiaomi interface so it also has that portrait mode it says uh, for that bokeh stuff so this is the regular one let's take a snap like this and we also have the 2x zoom obviously we have the tap to zoom uh, tap to focus sorry you can adjust the exposure like this if you want and we also have this portrait mode over here. Let's try that actually. Let me bring this nearby and let's try the portrait mode. So this is the portrait mode. So just I'm gonna click on this. It's not far away, it's, it's but yeah, you get that depth effect thing. And uh, it processes the uh, photo fast for this depth effect. Again, I'll take a lot more sample shots around my office so that you have a better idea regarding the camera but let's look at some of the other settings that uh, we have if we go to options uh, so these are the other modes that we have panorama timer uh, group selfies and okay it has this watermark okay by default it is disabled so here are the other settings that we have and uh, so uh, it can uh, shoot in both uh, 4 to 3 or 16 by 9 and uh, it has uh, anti-banding and other stuff. So that's what we have. Let's uh, look at the video, video mode. Does the, so we let's check the options in the video, 
time lapse and slow motion as it has so video quality yes it can record in uh, 4k by default it is set at hd guys so be just make sure you put it at uh, full hd or 4k hd is just 720p so focusing mode is there with this one so what i'll do is i'll take some camera samples around my office so that you can have a very quick idea regarding the camera performance of this uh, mi a1 so here are some more sample shots that I have taken around my office in varying light conditions with this uh, uh, Xiaomi Mi A1. Again, it's too early to judge the camera. I will be uh, testing this camera a lot more. So stay tuned to my channel. Here are some more sample shots that I have taken and in outdoor lighting conditions when the lighting is good, uh, the camera produces some very good pictures and even in terms of color accuracy, it is very accurate. But in artificial lighting conditions, I feel the camera is struggling a little bit let's also test its fingerprint scanner so as you can see the fingerprint scanner seems to be uh, responsive on this device it's taking a split second to unlock but uh, looks like the accuracy is actually really good as you can see and another thing that i noticed is that uh, it also has this me remote app so using this you can control devices like uh, it can act like a remote control so you can uh, control devices like uh, television uh, air conditioners etc you can add uh, remote so this is also one customized app that we have so we have two apps that are by xiaomi the me remote and the camera app apart from that it's almost stock android experience that we are getting with this one so guys that's it for now for this unboxing and first look at this Mi A1. What do you think about the Xiaomi Mi A1? Do share your thoughts in the YouTube comment section below. And if you have any other specific questions around this device, do post your questions in the YouTube comment section below and I'll try to include them in my review. And if you are still not subscribed to my YouTube channel, hit that subscribe button. Thanks for watching. This is Ranjit and I hope to see you in my next video.